Today in the Quadratech Academy, we're going to show you how to swap out your boring old factory headlights for a set of brand new LED replacement headlights. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Those old style incandescent headlights that came in your Wrangler from the factory really leave a lot to be desired. So today in the Quadratech Academy, we've got a 100 level course for you. And that means it's one of the easiest jobs that you can do to your Jeep. And we're gonna be showing you just how to replace those old style factory headlights with a set of brand new LED replacement headlights. Now the job is really easy. In fact, it's only gonna take us just a few minutes and only requires some basic hand tools. We're gonna to need a T15 Torx driver, a flathead screwdriver, and we also have a couple of nylon panel tools to help us pry some of those clips out, but those aren't even required. You can really do it with just the screwdriver and the Torx driver. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on this job by popping the hood on our Wrangler. Now that we have our hood propped up, we need to go ahead and remove these six panel clips that are along the leading edge of our grill so that we can remove the grill and get access to the headlight bucket to remove our headlight. Now to do that, we're simply gonna use a flathead screwdriver and simply insert the screwdriver under the head of the clip and with a slight twisting motion of the screwdriver, you can pop the head right up, lift it up with your hand and now this is where that panel removal tool comes in handy. If you need a little help, you can go ahead and insert that under the clip to pry it up. But if you don't have a panel tool, there's a nice little trick you can do. You actually just pull up on the grill a little bit while pulling up on the clip. It should lift it right out of there for you. No problem. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of the clips out of the way. Now that we've got our clips removed, our next step is to go ahead and unplug the electrical connector behind both of our marker lights on the grill and we can get the grill removed. Now the only thing left holding the grill on the front of our Jeep is a couple pressure clips down at the bottom edge of the grill here. The only way to remove them is to give the grill a good firm tug. And that'll release all those clips for you. Now we can grab our T15 Torx driver and we want to remove the four screws that are holding this silver retaining ring around the headlight. After you take that last screw out, the headlight should come right out. Now there's a little red locking tab on the back of the headlight. It needs to be pushed first. Then we can simply squeeze the tab, remove our electrical connector from the headlight. Now we can go ahead and install our new LED headlight into our grill. In this case, we're gonna be installing a set of Quadratech Gen 2 LED replacement headlights. Now these headlights use an H4 style connector. In fact, most replacement LED headlights on the market use this style connector. However, the connector inside of our Jeep is an H13 connector. So you're gonna to need to get yourself an H13 to H4 adapter but you'll also need a pulse width modulator. And what that does is prevent your new LED lights from having any kind of flickering issues. Now the Quadratech Gen 2 headlights come provided with an adapter that also has the pulse width modulator built right in. You can simply go ahead and plug the H13 side of the connector into the harness on the Jeep, making sure to re-connect that red locking tab. And then we connect the H4 side to the pigtail coming from the headlight. Cool. Now I can simply tuck all of our wiring up behind the headlight. And then we're gonna grab the trim ring off of 
the original factory headlight. Uh, there is a seam right at the bottom here. Place the ring right around the new LED headlight and then use those original screws to secure the headlight into the grill. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to get the driver's side headlight swapped out. Now the only thing left to do to finish up our install is to go ahead and reinstall our grill. I find that it's pretty easy while you have access to go ahead and reconnect your turn signals now with the grill uninstalled. Don't forget to connect those two red locking tabs and then you just want to line up your pop clips down the bottom here with the holes in the grill support. After you push all those back in place, grab those clips we removed and simply reinstall them, pushing the top down as you go. Now, if any of those clips came apart when you were removing them initially, it's easy. You can simply install the base of the clip first now the top half of the clip is actually slightly keyed here, so you simply line that up and then push that clip back in place. And that's all it takes to get those factory headlights swapped out for a set of brand new LED replacement headlights. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we chose to go with the Quadratech Gen 2 replacement LED headlights. If you wanna get more information on those, you can simply click on the info button to head over to quadratech.com. Now, if you have any other questions or comments about swapping out your headlights in your 07 and newer two-door or four-door Wrangler JK, you can leave those questions in the comments section below, or you can shoot us an email to info at quadratech.com. Give us a call at 800-745-2348 or live chat over at quadratech.com. Until next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail or right here in the classroom.